Police in Broomfield say they have a woman in custody. This after what they called an active shooter situation this afternoon inside of a Walmart store. They say they think it was actually a shootout between a woman and a man. Now they're looking for that man. So the Walmart where this happened is at West 120th Avenue in Vrain Street. That's east of Sheridan and west of Federal. The store is a relatively new super center surrounded by several other businesses, so it's an area that sees a whole lot of traffic. Fortunately, police say there were no injuries. Still, they are telling shoppers just to avoid the area. And as you might imagine, there are a lot of police there and that area is blocked off. Nine News reporter Ryan Harris is as close to the scene as he can possibly get and police are now interviewing witnesses, Ryan. Yeah, as many as they can, Kim. We are just in the back of the parking lot of this Walmart inside of a, a large shopping complex. Uh, this happened in the middle of the day, just before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So plenty of people are around to see and hear what happened. Uh, this shooting apparently happened between two people, a man and a woman, right inside of the Walmart store next to the subway, kind of on the uh, southwest corner of the store here. Uh, so many shoppers and employees outside, but police arrived on scene right away and were able to locate that woman get her into custody right away, but they have still been unable to find the male involved. They're still looking for that person right now, though they do not have any kind of description to provide to any reporters who are out here. So we'll continue to wait and see how their investigation plays out and whether or not they need help uh, locating this man that is still out there uh, and who they are looking for. Uh, as soon as the shots fired, people who were inside, employees and shoppers, they started running. One of those people is Margaret. She shops at this Walmart regularly and she was actually checking out when she heard those shots. Everybody started screaming and running, and it was kind of chaos because people were running in all different directions. The girl in the beauty shop called people in there and locked them in with the gate and uh, whatnot, and I just ran outside and stayed with a bunch of employees. Very, very scary. Very. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yep. I don't know what's wrong with people. So this store is shut down as Broomfield police continue to investigate inside. These white buses you're looking at are full of Walmart employees, presumably staying warm uh, while the police activity continues inside of the store they were working at as of just before 2 o'clock this afternoon. Again, Broomfield police are looking for one male. That is all we know about this person who may have been shooting inside of the Walmart store, along with the woman who, again, was taken into custody almost immediately after police arrived on scene. Well, of course, course, keep track of the investigation and share any updates we can throughout the evening. Kim, Tom, Alex. Okay. Well, it is complicated. They've got a lot of people to talk to, especially yeah. since it's such a big store. All right. Thank you, Ryan, for the update.